What's up, you guys? I'm Hunter March, and welcome to Love in a Box, the only dating show where it's what's on the inside that matters. Oh, snap! Today's show is sponsored by Hollister. Thank you very much. But that doesn't stop us from meeting our first contestant, Duke. He is hey, from Malibu, California. Nice. And next up, we have Dante. I'm a guy. What's up? I'm from Sherman Oaks, you know? Local. Sounds like he's from the 40s. Each of these men brought in a box with stuff that they brought from home. In the boxes are things that represent them, where they're from, where they're going, and who they are. Our female dater is not going to be able to meet them. All she's going to have to go off are these boxes. So I want to ask you guys, what is one item that she's probably going to have questions about? Probably this wig. I wear it in films that I make. It's just sex appeal on top of sex appeal. It's Okay, Duke, what do you have in your sure, box that man. you think she's going to pull out? Well, this airplane trophy. Let's pull that, that out. This is an airplane one. trophy? It was for a surfing air show that I did because I was a competitive surfer growing up. So you hope she finds out about that because then she realizes you're a professional Backstory surfer. The surfing. Yeah. And you're hoping she pulls that out so she can realize that you're into Dragon Ball Z? I mean, there's a lot of ways you could look at that. Guys, you know, this one's really, really up important. in the air. Who's going to win? All right, it's time to meet our dater. Please give it up for... Josiah. Josiah. Ooh. Ooh. Josiah, where are you from? I was born in Texas, but Ooh. I grew up in the Bay Area. Looking good. I'm feeling it. What are the deal breakers you have uh, when it comes to meeting new guys? Ooh, I don't like it when they smell. Should we start by smelling the boxes? Hell yeah. Okay. Smell it. Oh, no. I mean, they're boys, so it's like, I don't know. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> boys. Boys. This box belongs to one of our contestants. What is this? WWE Monday Night Raw. WWE Monday Night Raw, Raw, I even, Raw. I don't even know what WWE stands for. World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, mm -hmm. as you know, they're backstage watching us go through. So if you have any questions for them, you can feel free to ask. Hey man, how much you pay for these tickets? It was a friend, they took me as a guest, and it was $60 tickets for WrestleMania, front row tickets actually. Are you like super into wrestling? Is it something like you do? It's one of my favorite forms of entertainment. Really? Do you think it's real? I think the art is in the acting. Because I know there's like some fights that are real, like with Mayweather and <laughs> What's his funny face, that Scottish guy? Ah. Why don't you ask her on a date with your wrestling voice? Josiah, are you ready to rumble? Didn't really get too creative with the wording, but the voice was good. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. All right, Lakers, so you're like super into sports, I'm assuming. Uh, that's dope. I, I like hockey, you know, go Sharks, but um, you know, I'm you not lost really everyone the there. I know, I'm sorry. You put Bridget Jones' diary. What made you like this movie? I'm a huge proponent of a chick flick, and that is a smart one, I feel like. Name the actors besides <laughs> Renee Zellweger. Okay, uh, Colin Firth, and not Hugh Laurie, but uh... Well, you're 50% right now, which is a failing grade. Anyway, let's keep yeah. going. Look at this. Are you one of those guys who gets pissed at their girlfriends for stealing the jacket and never giving it back? I would definitely not get mad at you anyway, because I'm an easygoing guy, but also I would lend you the jacket anytime you'd like. Aww. You look like an off-duty cop right now. <laughs> you love games. Yeah, I can see that. This is a very heavy plane, and it says something on it. It's a, actually a trophy for my junior surfing competition that consisted of an air show that you had to do best aerial trick. Wow. So he's a professional surfer. Yeah, you In my day. Last thing. I really like this. Young Frankenstein, a Mel Brooks film. I'm not into horror films though, I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, now that that's done, let's switch sides. Oh my gosh, this is a lot more colorful. Hey man, what is this? Dater number one. <laughs> You're looking at a stress ball or a stress chicken. I like to squeeze it when I get upset to release the uh, built up tension from writing and making music and stuff. He sounds like John Travolta. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What the heck is this? <laughs> You're looking at a nice, beautiful, luscious wig. Is this the guy from The Incredibles? Actually, uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yeah. This is dope. I feel like I'm standing next to dater number one right now. Oh, Jesus. Is that real? <laughs> Look at this. Was that in his box? Yeah. 
Are you are you into like antiques and like relic type of stuff? That is a music box that my great grandmother gave to me before she passed. Rest in peace. Be careful. Do you know how to cook? Because this is a cooking net. This might answer your question. Thing going on. Okay. Part of being Italian, you you gotta cook. It's like the criteria. I like I like Italians. Describe your body to us using only your hands. I got the right curves. I'll say that. <laughs> Funny. I like this guy. I'm destroying you right now. Oh, look at this. What is it? It's a nice jacket. This is nice. I love camo. So I'm assuming you're like kind of spunky. Let me put it on really fast. Just vibe out with it for a second. Oh, he's worn this a few times. It feels good. It feels good, yeah. Okay, here we go. What is this mic for? That's, uh, that's my backup microphone for when I uh, do some rap. You rap? Yo, it's me. Hey. I'm walking down the street. Why not? You catch me buying some meat. Hey. I don't buy it for free. Whoa. They see me, they offer me the tea. I buy it, and I give it to my sweetie. <laughs> Can you sing when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, it's amore? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Oh. Well, music is super duper important to me. Um, somebody who understands the struggle and like the drive you have to focus, you have to have for music is important. So that's really cool. I'm glad you like music. I love music. <laughs> All right, well, I say we wrap this up, put everything back into the box, yes. bring the daters out, and you make your final decision okay. as to which box you want to go on a date with. All right, my man, I think I'm good to go. I feel pretty good about it. We posted all right, though. No, good luck. I mean, yeah. it's lonely drive home. Okay. You go first, you're going to be leaving first. So that's oh, right. so make wow. it easy for you. There it goes. Okay, we have our daters out here now. So you can take off your blindfold. Guys, don't say anything because, again, one of your voices is very specific. You can look at your daters, don't say anything. Do not worry about how they look. You are purely going off of what's inside their box. So why don't you go ahead and walk us through things you liked or disliked about each box. We'll start with this one. Okay. Um, not really into this. What's it called, Baggammon? Kind of old fashioned for me. Super cool that they got an award. It seems like they're very driven. Uh, surfing's awesome, so that's dope. All right, now let's yeah. head on over to the other box. What did you? What are uh, your pros and cons there? I'm not really sure if the guy was rapping seriously, but I don't think he's that great of a rapper. This is so cute. I love this thing so much, and the fact that he looks at this and just squeezes out of anger it makes it even more cute because the poor thing goes through so much. This jacket is so dope. Um, I'm really into cabo. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pick the box that you want to go on a date with, and then you're going to guess which person that box belongs to. Okay. I'm gonna pick box number two because uh, this guy seems more structured and he seems uh, smart. Hand it to the corresponding dater. Well, let me look at the shoe here. Kind of narrows it down right there. <laughs> Duke is the dater that Duke. you picked. This is Dante. Dante, I'm sorry. Duke, I want to know what date you guys are going to go on. It's a great question. Um, <laughs> there was a poker chip in my box. If you're up for it, we can go to the horse race track. I mean, Sounds like you have a problem. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to the lucky couple. Sorry to Dante. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Love in a Box, the dating show where what's inside matters. Make sure to subscribe and, of course, big thank you to Hollister for helping us out with this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.